people in Nepal have severe respiratory issues. They cook inefficiently. They basically have a open cook campfire inside. A typical cook session is five to ten times higher than acceptable range of carbon monoxide. If there's no ventilation, then all of this smoke gets accumulated in the, in the house. So these little kids are constantly breathing in black smoke that contains carbon monoxide and other harmful chemicals. This is a stove we came up with um, based off of readily available materials in Nepal. Here in the States, we did some research about some different rocket stoves. We took these designs to Nepal. Kamari, Nepal, which is a village in the mountains about a six hour drive from Kathmandu. And worked with the people there and saw how they already built stoves and basically help them apply some elements to the, their stove so that it could be cleaner. But beneath the shelf is where the air flows into the stove. Um, the shelf acts just as a shelf for the fuel. And then on the back side, there's a grate where air is allowed to, to flow up through the combustion chamber here. And so this creates a more effective combustion. So it reduces the amount of carbon monoxide um, and it, it burns hotter and faster so they're using a lot less fuel. In the houses we are reading about 400 parts per million of CO contamination in, in the house. With our stove we were reducing it down to 20. It's significantly healthier for anybody that's in that room. We're going for simplicity, uh, ease of building, ease of maintaining, ease of use. Providing them a stove is not the answer. The exciting part of the project is that it's just not an engineering design project. You have to be able to interact with the people to understand their needs, to understand their culture, and not just dump in on them sort of a really efficient stove that never gets used. We wanted them to have something that they would actually use, be able to build, be able to mass distribute, as well as have it be efficient. So it was made out of things that they already made, make their stoves out of. Now you have to not only look at what's the design of the stove in terms of the engineering aspects, but also the social and educational aspects of the community at large and hopefully transform their methodologies into a cleaner and better solution to cooking. We see this not only just being within the next couple years relationship, we see this as an ongoing process. <laughs> I think there's a lot of value in a design competition like this because it affords students the ability to do hands-on work. So they're creating and they're designing for a specific area for a specific cause and that always helps the learning process in terms of engaging students to use what they've learned in the past and what they are learning as they are designing through the process. This opportunity was really able to link engineering with people and I could see directly how it affected people and see how I could apply the things I was learning in my classes. To actually start a project, make something out of it, and, and see the result is a great feeling. Yeah.